Hello and welcome again the IB chemistry exam for May 2025. It's happening in about 50 days from today. On May 16th, you will be sitting for paper 1A and 1B on a Friday afternoon and then you'll have the weekend to return on Monday the 19th of May for the all-important paper two. Of course, this is a brand new course that's being assessed for the first time in 2025. And before I get into today's video, giving you some details about this year's exam and some tips, of course, I want to take the time from here in Abu Dhabi to give a big shout out to class of 25 at Canadian International School in Bangalore. Of course, I taught you guys in grade 11 in IB1, and I'm thinking of you, and I'm ready to answer any questions. And furthermore, I'm coming to Bangalore in a few days, and I hope to visit with you guys. So as we get into our video, I just want to take this opportunity to wish CIS class of 25 all the best in this year's examination. Let's move in and take a closer look. And here you can see that on Friday the 16th of May, HL students, you will be taking paper 1A and 1B for two hours in the afternoon. And SL students, you'll take the same two papers, but your duration will be one hour, 30 minutes. Then you'll have the weekend to study really hard to come and perform on the all-important paper two, which carries 44% of the final score in this course. HL students, you will have 90 marks in two hours and 30 minutes. SL students, you will have 50 marks in one hour and 30 minutes. Now let's go in and take a look at the specimen paper which shows the structure of each of the two papers that you will be taking and the mark scheme is also provided. But of course, if you would like a copy of this document, if it was not given to you by your teacher, it is open access and I'll be happy to send you a copy of this if you contact me at this email. So here we go with a quick scroll through of the structure of each of the papers for SL and HL and the mark scheme provided. As we have indicated, paper 1A and 1B will happen on Friday the 16th of May in the afternoon. In one sitting, you'll have both papers provided together. You will have a time of two hours and you can allocate that to work on 40 multiple choice items if you're HL and 35 marks for section B, which is experimental type questions, which look a lot like the old paper three section A. So if you don't know what that paper is and you're doing past papers, paper three section A from exams in 22, 23 and 24 will be quite useful also, all of the multiple choice papers from that time would be useful. Those questions very much align with the ones you see here. So old multiple choice papers from the last two years are quite useful for students to prepare for this first exams in 25. And here are the third, here are the 40 multiple choice questions. Here are the answers. To these questions. Here is a sample of your paper 1B, which is experimental based questions, data based questions, but still connected to the core of chemistry. Very much connecting also to graphs and to the tools study, the practical skills acquired. Here is the mark scheme. HL students paper two, 90 marks happening on the Monday, the 19th of May. 90 marks, 
2 hours and 30 minutes. Here are the questions. Quite a long and grueling paper. It's really important for students to practice sitting down for two and a half hours and working on questions and of course all of the old past papers are quite relevant still all of the old paper twos still quite relevant here's your mark scheme so you can certainly do this paper and self-assess and a couple from older exams here is now the sl version uh, SL students, you'll have an hour and 30 on Friday the 16th to do paper 1A and 1B. Again, it's a multiple choice 1A. Here are the questions. Here are the answers. And you got 1B. Experimental based questions similar to the old paper 3, section A, and then of course the mark scheme. And then paper 2, which is happening on Monday the 19th in the morning, 50 marks, 90 minutes. Here are the questions. Here is the mark scheme. And good luck to everyone in this year's examinations.